the Finnish goth rock group His Infernal Majesty, more commonly known as Him, never really broke up. They just became what they always were. V. B. Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here and on this 5 minute review episode we're going over Vili Velo's newest album, Neon Noir. And don't forget that we are doing live streams every Friday so make sure to check that out. Whenever I hear music like him, I am reminded of CKY. Not necessarily the band, but the movies that Bear Majera released which featured music by him and CKY. Confused yet? I guess it is when I say it like this without going too far in depth. VV is the band name and initials as well for Billy Vallo, lead singer to the band Him, even keeping his iconic heart grain moniker for the cover of this record. No, 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 wait, 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 that's not it. No, 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 that, that's not it either. Oh, I'm sure that won't affect my search engine optimization. So this is the album cover and fans of him will be instantly remiss of the Hardogram logo. Well, I got good news and I got bad news about this album. In an interview with Louder Sound, Billy stated that this album is a bridge between his prior works to his new stuff that is going to come out. So don't expect a full-blown revival. That being said, there is certainly a lot of elements on this record that all the fans will enjoy. Billy keeps one foot in the past here with his prior works, giving a nod on songs like Salute the Sanguine and Run Away from the Sun. But there are hints at what is possibly to come when you hear other tracks like Echo Locate Your Brain, In Trinidad and the title track Neon Noir, which all have either a flair for a more poppier side of Billy or a semblance of electronic rock that still is rooted in his goth rock past. What would that make it? Goth pop? Gop? EGM? Question is, in a day and an age where previous styles of music are coming back in fashion like post new metal wave or the emo revival, will we see a goth rock resurgence? I hope so. It would be great to see that genre witness a breath of fresh air. Why do I say this? Well... Well, that's not the real reason, but I'm not against that style either. No, I for one loved the scene. Bands like Typo Negative were fantastic additions to my musical library that I enjoyed far too late in their career. The thing is, I can listen to multiple Typo Negative albums from start to finish, no problem, but I've never really felt this way when it came to him. They always seemed more of a band that produced some super impressive singles, but not albums. The crooning manner of Villier was just no match for the dry wit and baritone brilliance of Peter Steele. So how does this album stand as it is? Well, it's an enjoyable listen and I feel it will be one that the older fans will enjoy. I'm not sure if it will be one to win over new fans, that is yet to be seen I guess. At the end of the day I enjoyed it, but again it isn't an album that I thought was perfect. Saturnine Saturnalia, I think that's how it's pronounced, is a slow track that failed to capture my attention and I'm not sure if Xena Solitaire was meant as an intro piece for the album Close of Vertigo Eyes, but its fadeaway doesn't really flow into the track either. Other than this, there were some really nice tracks, but nothing in the way of super impressive catchy songs found in the back catalogue of him. Overall, I will be giving this album a score of 5.5 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Echo Locate Your Love, Salute the Sanguine, and Vertigo Eyes. I think it's fantastic that Billy Vello has come back and returned after all these years of, you know, umming and ahhing whether or not there would be another follow-up for him. It was a bit of a catastrophe when the band him did split up, and I guess a lot of fans were a bit upset about this. I'm glad that Billy has paid an homage to his past, and at the same time is noting that he is going to move forward in a new direction. It's going to be interesting to see what that direction is. If you've enjoyed this episode, please consider giving us a like and subscribing to us as we are a small channel. And again, everyone, I hope you have a great day and stay spicy. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listener Race. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listener Race, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.